God, you've returned. I need your help. For reasons you'll discover, I can't send you to Riven with a way out. I... Okay. Welcome back to Riven, <clears throat> the game that I didn't think would require a notebook, but actually does. I was in fact not talking about Pears and Grey Witch, although I can understand why you would think that. I was, in fact, talking about how we were in this schoolhouse and we played this game where you slowly lower men into a shark mouth. And a number comes up down here and, <coughs> and it <clears throat> corresponds to the number of times that the rope lowers the man into the shark mouth which taught us to count, and I wrote all those down here. So we are we are fully back into La Mulana writing down. I guess this is just my gaming niche now, is weird puzzle games where you have to just write everything down or you won't know what's going on. <clears throat> Something occurred to me that I, I wasn't really paying attention to this before. Um, but it occurs to me that I probably need to know. Um, I, it may not matter. I, I assume there's a lot of information in this that is not going to be important. But I am curious to know how many clicks it takes to lower the the person into the shark mouth i know what the numbers symbols mean but just in case i want to know how many how many drops it is i assume it's about 20 to 25. all right so that's five <clears throat> Five on this side. That's three. Six, seven, eight. Four, five, six. Eight on the left, six on the right. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Okay, fourteen and six. <clears throat> Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 14, 16, 14, 15, 16, 16 each. I'm thinking 20, 17, 18, 19, 20. <clears throat> Unless it triggered at 19. But that's why I'm counting both sides. 17, 18, 19. No, it stops at 19. Okay, so it is that it is 20 on the dot. So it should just go straight in, right? Yeah, okay, 20. Hmm. That may not matter at all, but at least we know. 
20 ticks into shark mouth. So I'm pretty much I'm pretty much past COVID and haven't really had any significant uh, symptoms, but today I have been like un <coughs> unable to stop this dry cough. So please bear with. That's probably gonna that's gonna <coughs> that's gonna keep dropping in and out. I've been drinking tea with honey. I have. Uh, <coughs> Oh yeah, here's the thing. I can't really, if you haven't been here on earlier streams, I can't really help you. Um, there is even less of like, in La Mulana, I can at least kind of explain because there's something of a narrative through line. And I can tell you like, we found this and we did this and we talked to these people and we went to these places. And it just... This game just straight up isn't that easy to explain. So it, <coughs> the whole thing <coughs> really just is kind of, we've been walking around and looking at things and sometimes the things do things. And that is legitimately all we have done. <coughs> I recorded uh, next week's podcast with Tom yesterday and I was talking on the podcast with him a little bit about my experience with this game so far and it honestly is like I have no idea if I am 5% of the way through this game or 50 like it's so hard to quantify what progress looks like in this experience because there doesn't appear to be a lot of hard progress oh yeah Here are some levers. I don't know. I tried literally every combination of levers and none of them made like a click or any, oh, that's right. I remember now. It alters the direction of the, uh, it alters the directions of the tracks. <clears throat> hey, Tyronin, it's fine. I'm just, I'm just explaining how... I'm just explaining how it's really difficult to explain to someone who hasn't seen the whole thing or doesn't know the whole thing how difficult it is to quantify or explain progress. Like, I feel like at any point in this game, someone can come in and say, hey, what have we done today? And my answer will always be, I have no idea. Like, just consistently. Five clicky levers is not what I would call solved. I understand what they do. I understand what they do. I do not know how I am meant to manipulate that knowledge to get what I want out of them.
Because the thing is, I understand that the five... <coughs> I understand that the five clicky levers are doing something to change the order and arrangement of these underwater rail tracks. I understand that's what they do. I don't understand how they do that. What, can I turn around on this? Oh, damn, I sure can. Interesting. So can I go up this way? That might be something. I can. I have no idea if I've been up here before. It's the equivalent of like being in a minecart maze and you figured out what you figured out what like you've got levers and you know that the levers change the direction of where you actually go. Oh, yeah, this is fine. I've been here. Yep. Yep. This is where I thought it was. Cool. That's fine. So it's like, you understand it from the perspective of like, okay, if I hit this lever, the minecart will go in a different direction. What you don't know is where all of those directions actually are and which lever corresponds to which junction and where you actually want to go. So the reality is like, I have not solved, we've not found the solution to the, pu to the puzzle. We've only found the function of it. We have not, I'm still bothered by that. Like, we haven't discovered we haven't discovered the, uh, the answers. We've discovered the questions. Well, there sure is a baby. It's time to get the hell away from there. This continues to be a thing, but doesn't appear to be interactable in any way. <clears throat> you know how in La Mulana... Like, a lot of the puzzles get solved by, like... <coughs> by, like, triggering something and then asking, what did that do? It's a lot of, like, okay, we've solved, we've found the solution, but what was the question? This is, like, weirdly sort of the opposite of that. Where we're not finding any solutions at all. I know it sounds, I know it looks like I'm just kind of, like, clicking haphazardly, but there is a place I actually want to go. And it's here. So that is a number three. So I'm going to hit it three times. I don't think that's probably the solution. I 
I think it's more likely that those things are ordered and I have to hit them in a particular order. I don't want to watch you guys. So, like, realistically, what we have a lot of here is. I think that's five. There's a lot of, like, seeing something and knowing it's important, but not having any way to actually interact with it. And then discovering how you uh, discovering how you're even supposed to interact with the environment is step one. It's like, OK, I, I see that there's something that's supposed to be done here, but there's literally nothing to be done here. And then step one of solving the problem is being able to interact with it. <clears throat> step two is knowing what interacting with it actually does for you. And then step three is actually solving the problem and understanding, like, how interacting with it is supposed to, you know, solve an actual problem and and provide a result that is good for you. And I don't think I've hit step three on literally anything. You know what? I was going to keep making notes next to the numbers, but I'm just going to let that be its own page. And we're going to make a new page. And that's uh, that's going to be. Uh, spinny. Orb. Numbers. Coaster in wall. This one is five, which is on rock with fight seals. And I actually made some notes of some previous locations. Uh-huh, uh-huh. That's five, and that one is two. Interesting. Very interesting. I'm starting to feel really good about this theory that you're supposed to hit them in order. Because I've looked at three and five, and I have notes down for two and four. I don't have one that's number one, but if I find number one, then I could reasonably go through and hit one, two, three, four, five in order and see if that does something. buzzing sound is number two. And number four was side path in woods. Cool. Alright. Neat. I'll just keep an eye out for uh, 
So there's a couple of, there's a couple of ways that could th uh, theoretically be important. Uh, one of them is... Oh yeah, this is the, this is, uh, uh, two. Yep, that's two. So this could be a puzzle itself, or it could be a... It could be a hint to a different puzzle. Because they all have a sound effect associated with them as well. Oh, hey Tom, I decided to uh, ignore the alphabet. Because I don't think that's something that the game intends for me to have to worry about. Largely because several of the letters are repeated. Which indicates to me that they're... That indicates to me that they are... Not intended to be... Legitimate solutions to anything. <clears throat> Tarnan, I am, I am sympathetic to your plight of eating the wrong flavored food at the wrong time. However, I am also largely against the idea of having, like, particular types of food that you eat at particular types of, uh, at particular times of year. Like, I made a hot chocolate yesterday and have had two cups of, of hot tea today, mostly just because my throat's acting up. And we'll absolutely tear up some ice cream in the middle of December. Hell yeah, it's a hot chicken takeover shirt. We finally got one. I need to actually go back to hot chicken takeover so I can start getting a dollar off my meals. I've no, we've not been back since we bought the shirts. Granted, it was last month. And Jesse's only actually even been here for half the time. You know, one thing that I do actually know for sure is progress. Is th roughly this way. Yeah. So I could play the Yoku's Island Express music, or I could just do this. Because last time... <clears throat> Last time I played, <clears throat> excuse me. Last time I played, someone was telling me that I needed to, uh, I needed to pixel hunt around this area. 
for something. Which, you know, <clears throat> I said normally I would be, like, against receiving hints in a game like this. But if the solution is actually just, like, look for the magic spot where the thing happens, I'm not going to be satisfied with finding that solution anyway. So if the game is going to waste my time, I, at the very least, don't mind someone telling me, hey, the game is going to waste your time. I'm happy to at least have a warning about it. That being said, I don't have any actual indication as to where that pixel hunting needs to actually take place. Ah. Fine. Ah, uh, would I like my hunt narrowed down? This is a very purposeful camera angle that I did not see before. <clears throat> I don't know what its purpose is. But I'm going to go turn the water on and see if we can't find out. Yeah, cool. The water is the water's gonna get all bubbly now. Very good. Why is this Are you saying that this objective question for this series is, is it going to waste my time? Whoops. Resume. With the implication being that the answer is yes, regardless of what is actually doing at any given point.
God, this seems important. It changes the it changes the soundscape and everything. There's like nothing to do with it. And like, you're looking at old game design, you cannot necessarily guarantee that everything that you're seeing is going to be important. La Mulana tends to be really, really good at that. Like it's really good about making sure that everything it shows you has a place and has a, you know, there, there's no wasted effort. There's no wasted information. Everything is going to be relevant and important at some point. I have no such assurances here. I mean, okay, most of the information is, is useful, but the information that isn't at least presents itself as obviously not, not important because it's just actively insulting you. Whereas like every damn thing in this game is an implication. and never anything more or less than an implication. Okay. So we're, we're pixel hunting for something, but we don't know what it is. Taranin, you offered to narrow down my search. And I'm going to take you up on that offer. I'm going to segment this area into three distinct places. One of them is essentially everything in front of me, including like the wall over here and this machinery and everything down that bridge all the way to the wall and the ladder and everything. So this is area one. This all of this is area one. Area two is all of the area around this boiler, including inside, down here where all this machinery is, and all the way around the outside up to this pipe. So like everything on that side of the pipe to about the bridge will be area two including everything everything around the boiler and everything that may be along the walls there and all of that. That's all area two. And then everything behind me is area three. Which would include this area, like everything up here on the wall, everything up the ladder, and also, and also this over here. Burp. All right, area three then. That means it's either something up here along these rocky cliffs or more likely it's in this room in here where we got 80% of the way to figuring out what the hell to do with these frogs.
but then didn't. I don't know how much the I don't know how much the clicking is picking up on the microphone. I hope not too much. Ferg. So, I mean, it definitely feels like we're 80% of the way to whatever it is that this wants. It's like you bait the trap. You send the trap down, which isn't actually going to work because the damn water. Okay, good. That's fine. As long as, as long as it's not like super loud and distracting, I don't really mind. Not quite what I was going for, but that's fine. Alright, so we send that down. Eventually, it will return with the frog. Deliria! Hot! Why am I on a frame? Camera, work with me. Hello. Hi. Hello, friend, and boop to you as well. Don't mind me, I'm clicking random o I'm clicking random objects in this environment until something good happens. Or something bad happens. I at this point I really don't care. Aww. That's nice to hear. It's weird to think that I really was gone for like almost three whole weeks. That's uh It's like one of the longest hiatuses I've ever actually taken from streaming. But it's weird now, because I've streamed a couple times this week, and it doesn't feel like I left at all. Well, shit. Get back down there. And I think the closest I've done to that is like when I would take a couple of weeks off because I was uh, visiting family for like holidays and stuff. But realistically, visiting families for visiting family for holidays, as you're well aware, does not always necessarily count as time off. Frequently, that's just different work. I thought I figured out how to make that happen, and it's not working now. I just want to find, like, a stick or something to jam in there.
sitting here spending what, for anyone who knows this game, must be a maddeningly long time trying to stick my fingers in this fan. Or in there, honestly. Try to stick my leg, try to stick my fingers in the fan, try to stick my legs in the grind, like, honestly. This game is really just like, driving some really dark urges out of me. So with the water up, does that, I wonder if, does that change anything about what's over here? No. No, it does not. I thought there might be like drainage coming out of this pipe because that's actually connected. What if I just looked at the sea? Hmm. Yeah, I remember that. So this is really more of an entry point than a point of interest now. Yeah, seriously, Dell. For for 1997, the look and feel of this of this game is really incredibly impressive. Gameplay wise, it's really just a lot of clicking around at things and hoping something happens. But it's hard not to be impressed with just the general look and feel of this game being 25 years old. Fan doesn't stop with the water being off. Yeah, you may have. Um, I 
I'm fairly certain that Mist got, like, ported to hell and back, back in the 90s. I feel like Loom might have some sort of connection to this game, but I'm not 100% sure. There we go. Okay, so there's a frog in here. We caught, we caught it. That's very pretty, very, very poisonous frog. which will run away if I open this. What if I just send you back down? How about that? Bye. All right, Taronin, narrow it further. Is it inside or outside of this building? Boy, that's ominous as shit. Never mind.